Hello, my name is Greg Tilka, and I'm an extension plant pathologist and nematologist at Iowa State University. And we're going to talk to you today about how you would check a field during the growing season for the presence of soybean cyst nematode. Now there's two ways to check fields for soybean cyst nematode, and one involves collecting soil samples. And we're going to talk about that in another video after the growing season has ended. But for today, during the growing season, we're going to focus on how you would dig roots and look for the presence of soybean cyst nematode on the roots. And research has told us that you can have a field that is infested with soybean cyst nematode and the plants will not look sick. They will look perfectly healthy, much like the field we're standing in today. Uh, the key is to don't rely on above ground symptoms to tell you if a field has soybean cyst nematode or not. You really have to get out in the field, dig some roots, and look for the little white SCN females, and that's what we're gonna walk you through today. So the key is you probably don't wanna go out and dig roots any sooner than five or six weeks after planting. It takes that long for the first SCN females to form and show up on the roots. But after that, pretty much any time through the month of August, it's simply a matter of coming out into a soybean field with a spade or a shovel and digging some roots and shaking or, or breaking the soil off of the roots. You do not want to pull plants. You want to get about six or eight inches away from the base of the plant and with a shovel or a spade, get down six or eight inches deep and pop that cluster of plants out. And then with your hands, very carefully, break the soil apart and what you're going to be looking for are little white dots that form primarily on the finer roots. And the adult SCN females appear, as I said, like little white dots. They're about the size of a period at the end of a printed sentence. And they really are quite easy to see, especially in dark, heavy soil like we have here. They take a little bit more examination to, to find on sandy soils because the grains of sand can be confusing, but um, starting, as I said, five or six weeks after planting through the month of August, um, you should be able to dig roots and look for the presence of those little white females. And we've got lots of them here on the roots that just came out of the ground a minute ago. So as I said earlier, the soybean cyst nematode females are visible to the naked eye. They're small about the size of a period at the end of a printed sentence, but um, you could be able to see them with the naked eye, or at most, if your eyesight's not that good, especially close-up vision, the most you should need is a magnifying glass that you can purchase anywhere, and that'll give you the magnification needed to see those adult SCN females. So to reiterate, we want to have soybean roots checked in fields that don't even look like they could possibly have a nematode problem. These beans, which look perfectly green and healthy, we found lots of SCN females. Finally, two other things to keep in mind. If you come out and dig roots and don't see soybean cyst nematode females on those roots, it doesn't mean that the field is not infested. You should at least check a field two or three times through the months of July and August in the typical growing season. Uh, in the United States. And the final thing is, don't be tempted to deduce numbers based on what you see on the roots. You may only see a few SCN females on the roots and be tempted to think that that means the field has a low level of SCN. That may or may not be the case. We've seen many instances where fields with high levels of soybean cyst nematode may have soybeans growing in them with females, only a few females on the roots at any particular time. So don't be tempted to kind of guess at what the numbers are in that particular field based on what you see on the roots.